Hey, this is Kenyon with Little Giant Ladders. Today we're gonna demo the leveler. Your leveler came equipped with ratchet levelers that are internal on one side of the ladder. Simply step on this and extend those legs to their desired length. You'll notice that they're independent both on the left and on the right. You have these levelers to always make sure that your ladder's safe, level, on solid ground. When you're not using those, simply slide this tab up they're spring assisted so they'll slide back up into their storage position. The hinge creates the shape of the ladder. It'll lock here in the stored position with the palm of your hand reaching around and gripping these hinge plates. Make that a little bit easier. Squeezing that all the way in. Rotating these legs around and always make sure that that hinge is fully seated or locked. The only other thing for you to remember is to rotate these rapid locks, pulls that metal pin out so that now you can lean the ladder this way and you can change how long or how high that ladder will be. We'll bring it as long as these rungs are parallel with these inner rungs, then that hole is gonna line up with these rapid locks and I can rotate that around again, make sure that that rapid lock is fully seated, bring that to its desired height. Do the same thing over here on the other side rotating that rapid lock and notice that I'm leaving this wide section at the bottom. My hand, left hand and right hand, just hand over hand, I'm pushing this to achieve the desired height. Lock those into place and now your leveler is ready to climb. If you're gonna use it on an unlevel surface or a hillside or even staircases, we're just gonna make one side of this ladder shorter or longer than the other. You'll notice that now I can put the ladder up on a hillside, embankment, unlevel ground. Even staircases will make this change a little bit more dramatic. That's how you set your leveler in the staircase. If we're gonna use it as an extension ladder, we're gonna bring this all the way down to its stored position. Unlock the hinge one more time and open this up. I like to do this either on the ground or outside on the driveway. Put it in a stored position, but in an extension ladder. Then we're going to rotate these rapid locks and extend it to be the length or the height that we're gonna need to tackle the job. As long as those rapid locks are lined up with that hole, they're gonna lock into place. But again, it's your responsibility to make sure that those are fully locked. We could extend the bottom half the same way to be the desired height. Then we're gonna turn the ladder 180 degrees so that I'm facing the rungs. This is where I'm gonna foot the ladder down here at the bottom against the foundation or a solid surface. And then again, hand over hand, raise the ladder up, leaning at a 75 degree angle or what we refer to as a four to one ratio. That just means that for every four feet the ladder's going up, it should be one foot away at the bottom. It'll be at a 75 degree angle. To store your leveler ladder, we're gonna unlock these hinges one more time with the palm of our hand, bringing it into its stored position. Don't forget about the wheels. When you need to cart it from one job to the next, just lean it at the correct angle so that you can move your ladder from job to job. That is the leveler ladder by Little Giant Ladders.